Welcome to Focus on Photography. Today we're going to be discussing creating a vignette using Lightroom. The picture I've got on here for a sample is of a cat with a very bright background and that bright background can often take away from the impact of the subject matter in your photograph so we're going to deal with that with a vignette. So what we do is we make sure we're in the develop module and we come down to our effects panel on the right here and you can see one that's post crop vignette. First thing we're going to do is we're going to try moving the slider to the right and you'll see a white vignette come across our photo. That can be interesting for weddings or for more sort of ghostly effects you might want to come up against but today we're going to go to the left and create a darker vignette because we want to really draw you into the actual cat's face. I'm going to overdo it just a little bit so we can really see where we're going with the other panels here. The midpoint slider, if we go to the left, you'll see it moves that midpoint down. And if we go to the right, it moves it right out, creating a very edgy effect. But I think what the, this photo will require, given where the cat is in the photo, we'll leave it at about here. The roundness just creates a very round to the right, and if we go to the left, more of a rectangle type effect. And again, that'll just change depending on what your taste is and what the image is that you're trying to put a vignette on. The feather here, if we go to the right, will make it a very soft transition between the dark and the light. And if we go to the left, you'll see a very hard transition, almost like a picture frame. And some people do use it for that kind of effect. But I think we'll just make it a little bit softer here. And just remember too that we've got overdone with the amount here, which we'll come back and fix in a moment. The highlights here just protect some of the highlights. And if we move that to the right, you'll see some of the highlights in the vignetted areas come back. I don't use this one often. And it does have its uses, but just not that often. And you can use taste for that one. Let's come back here and back off the vignette and get it just to where we think it's going to be appropriate. And I think somewhere there, maybe a little bit more of a feather there to soften the transition. Here's the before. As you can see, the distraction is in that light behind the cat. And this just really draws your attention to the cat. This is Photo Focus. And this is a tip on vignetting in Lightroom.